Okay, and now we're going to uh, discuss minor chords, and I think the best way to do it is to start by talking about minor arpeggios. As we've already learned, uh, an arpeggio is nothing more than a broken chord, and it contains the three notes of the chord triad, and so we learned a uh, C arpeggio like this, And we add the octave, there's another C. When we play that, we're playing the one and the three and the five of the C scale. <clears throat> now if we want to play a, if we want to play a C minor, we have to flatten the three. That means we drop the third note a half a step. So we've got the major pattern, the minor pattern. So you just drop that third note one half step and you've got suddenly a, ma uh, a minor arpeggio. Now take this other uh, major arpeggio. We'll start again with the C or let's just give us ourselves some room and let's play the B flat. our major arpeggio in B flat and now if we want to make that minor we've got the one the three and the five the octave one three five and the octave and so let's drop the three a half step and that'll give us the minor B flat arpeggio So it's just that simple. And here we've got the F. So let's play the F major. Now the F minor. And the key to all this, of course, is to take a major chord, <clears throat> which is built on the major triad, the one, three, and five note of that major scale. You take that major chord, you flatten the third note, flatten the three. The third degree gets flattened, and so uh, to change a major chord to a minor chord, you simply drop the third note one half step. Okay, now we're going to talk about actual minor chords that you can play. There is more than one way to make a chord, uh, as long as you get the correct notes into the chord. You can make chords that play notes on all four strings. You can make chords that play notes on only three strings. And when you're dealing with uh, three-note chords, which would be uh, uh, your major triad or your minor triad or even your uh, diminished triad <clears throat> excuse me when you are using those three note chords uh, it's pretty simple to figure out what would a four note chord be well you would add uh, one of those notes back again one of those three notes back again to the chord or you could add a seventh note or a ninth note 
or an 11th or a 13th or so on. So we're not going to get into all of that, but that is covered in Brad's music theory portion about uh, building those cards. And in another video, we'll talk about seventh cards. We're going to talk about the uh, dominant seventh more than any of them because that's the one you're going to be using when you play uh, folk type music. Uh, you will uh, need to know that for some songs. But right now, we want to concentrate on only the three notes. And so we know that the three notes that make the major chord are the one, the three, and the five. That's the first fact. The major chord is built on the one, the three, and the five. Now the second fact is that uh, because the mandolin is tuned in fifths, and uh, because of the major tetrachords that we have studied in a previous video, uh, we know that always when we're but when we have a root note anywhere on the mandolin, say this is our root note, we'll use B flat again as the root note. We know that directly above that on this uh, D string, it's going to be the fifth. There's your first, there's your fifth. <clears throat> so that's why we are going to use, although you can use a number of cards anywhere up and down the neck, and you can look them up in a card book um, or anywhere that you can access mandolin cards on the web or in a book. You can find different ways to finger and voice these cards. But for this lesson, the only cards we're going to look at are what a lot of people call the bar cards because uh, this is easy to remember and you can find a card anywhere like this. The, you've got the first note and the fifth note directly above it. That's an A right there. That's the one and the five of the A. And we'll go back to B flat. There's the one and the five of the B flat. Now, to make that card, if you look up in a card book, uh, moving back to A, to make that A bar card, you're going to see something like this. which makes a beautiful A chord. You're adding the A again down here. This is an A, and this is an A. Here's the fifth of the A chord, and here's the third. The third, you skip one fret up, and you're here on the A string. You play those three strings together. Don't play this one, and you've got beautiful A chord. <clears throat> that is the one, the three, and the five of the A major scale. And it gives you this A chord. So you can find the five just by going one string higher on the same fret. And you can find the third by putting your ring finger here two frets higher on the A string. That's a B. B chord. Why? Because we're starting here on the B. There's the one, there's the three, there's the five. Now, to make a minor chord, you simply flat the third. So that's the third fact. The third fact is, to make a minor chord, you've got the one, the five, and the flatted third. There's our A minor. There's our B flat minor. There's our <coughs> B minor. Now you can play these on just these three strings. Or if you want to add a fourth note, you add the octave with your pinky on the E string. And here's your A minor chord. Here's your B minor chord. Here's your C minor chord. Okay, it's all, all pretty easy. <clears throat> so, by making that bar chord, 
all of the 12 scales that we've learned and the notes that we're learning on these two strings can be used to make a minor chord. So if you wanted to make, uh, for instance, the E minor, you've got your E here, you've got your fifth here, and your third here. This is an E chord. E major. And if you lower that third, you've got the E minor. Here's your F minor. Here's your G minor. Here's your A minor. Okay, so that's how you make those minor chords. And uh, I don't think anything could be simpler. Now, <clears throat> what if you want to use an open string? Say you want to make a G minor. Well, you've got your one here, your five here, and your three here. There's your three of the G chord. You use that when you play it like this. A two finger G chord, you're using the one, the five, the three, and then the eight. Or the one again. So to make a minor, you lower the third. There's your G minor. Now if you wanted to make the uh, D minor, this is a D card. Oh, excuse me. This would be a D card. This would be a D minor. There's your D minor. <clears throat> so by uh, lowering that, that third note, you get the minor chord, and it's very simple with those uh, bar chords. I hope you've gotten a lot out of this lesson. See you in the next video.